And now let's move on to our next big story, the coronavirus outbreak. South Korea remains the worst affected country outside mainland China due to the coronavirus outbreak. Overnight, the country reported 256 new cases. A total of 2,022 people have tested positive for the virus in South Korea. This number is second only to mainland China. The city of Daegu in the country's southeast remains the epicenter of this outbreak. 90% of all new cases were reported here. At the center of the coronavirus outbreak in South Korea is a religious group called the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. Almost half the confirmed cases in South Korea are linked to members of this church group. Daegu City Mayor expects the number of patients to reach 3,000. Once more, members of the group are tested for the virus. Annual exams in schools across South Korea have been postponed. Government authorities feel that the exam centers could become a breeding ground for coronavirus. Preparation centers and study halls will remain closed for the next week. Markets in the country are also being disinfected. The idea is to encourage more citizens to visit markets and ensure that businesses are not hit. South Korea is also staring at a possible shortage of face masks. On your screens right now are visuals from the capital of Seoul. As you can see, there are long queues in front of department stores. The government has introduced a number of measures to ration the supply of face masks. Only 10% of the country's mask production is now available for export, and each person is allowed to buy only five masks. And BTS have called off their concerts in Seoul over the virus outbreak. BTS was scheduled to hold four concerts in the Olympic Stadium in Seoul. Close to 200,000 people were expected to attend the concerts, but the band cancelled all events, saying that it was impossible to predict the scale of this outbreak. In France, there was a sharp rise in the number of confirmed coronavirus patients. Overnight, the number of infected increased from 18 to 38. Among the 20 new patients, two are considered to be in serious condition. So far, the virus has claimed two lives in the country. President Emmanuel Macron said that France was preparing for an epidemic, while Prime Minister Edouard Philippe asked people to maintain basic hygiene and not spread panic. With neighbouring Italy reporting more than 600 cases, there is now a demand to close the borders in an effort to contain the virus. But Macron ruled out such a drastic measure and said that only the affected areas should be quarantined. Que le virus ne s'arrête pas aux frontières. N'en déplaise peut-être à certaines et certains, il ne connaît pas cette géographie et ses limites administratives. Et donc parfois des confinements sont importants, mais plutôt dans les géographies qui concernent l'expansion du virus, ce sont les choix de confinement que l'Italie par exemple a dû prendre.